Hi there and welcome back to the video tutorial for the install of Concilium. So like I said from the previous video here we are with the default install of WordPress and we're in the back end here. So what we're going to do the first thing is we're going to go to appearance and themes and you can see here these are the default themes installed in WordPress and we're going to add a new one. So if we click add new and then bring up these ones here which are a part of WordPress but we're going to upload a theme. So if we click upload and then down here we've got the WordPress Concilium zip so this will be part of your package file that you've downloaded from Theme Forest. so if I just drag that on there and if we click install now WordPress will run through the uh, install process for the for the theme so there we go the uh, theme is now installed so WordPress is asking us do we want to activate it so yes yes we do so we might as well press that so we activate the theme and once the theme is activated there you go we've got our wordpress warrior icon there but um, if you go to the front end of the website now and we just refresh that page you'll see here now we're getting the uh, the starting point for the concilium theme so what i'll do next here is if you wanted to you could start posting and, and, and putting content on there using all the styling and everything that it, that is uh, predefined in the concilium theme but what I want to do is I want to install the sample data from uh, our demo, which is what you guys have seen over on the theme forest. So I'm going to install the demo data here and show you how to do this next. So the first thing that we need to do is if, if we actually go to appearance and theme options, I'm just going to show you a couple of things here now. Then you'll see here we've got the demo content option now it won't let us select all sample data because before we can install the demo data we need to install the plugins so if we go down here click on plugins and then here it tells us that the theme needs um, certain plugins to run correctly so if we click begin installing plugins and it'll give us a list of the ones we need here so all I'm going to do is select all of those just click install and then we'll click the apply button and then uh, we'll just wait for WordPress to run through this install process and at this point I'll, I'll wait for this to happen and I'll jump the video once uh, the install process is complete. So there we go the plugins are now installed so we can go back to the appearance and back to theme options and then once the theme options loads again you'll see here now that we can now oh sorry no we need to go back to plugins because i need to activate the actual plugins so we've actually we've installed them that's my mistake there so we click on all of these plugins and we're going to activate them just apply that and wait for wordpress to activate these plugins so there we go the plugins are now activated so now if we go back to uh, the theme options so there we go so we've got the option to choose all the sample data now at this point you can choose which theme you want to install um, into your WordPress install so we've got the agency version of the, the theme the shop the retro theme the blog theme or the corporate theme and we will be adding new themes to the concilium package every month so every time you, you download the updated version you'll get an, another option here and you know hopefully over time we're going to create some amazing themes for you guys and you'll be able to use them all the time uh, for all your different projects so but for this demo i'm going to choose the uh, the concilium install which is the default install so if i click here now all sample data and if we just click import now and then we wait for that to load and then we'll uh, go through how that's worked so there we go the import of the demo data is complete now that I've jumped, I've skipped the video there while I was waiting for that to load it did take about a minute to a minute and a half so you do need to be patient with that because there is quite a bit of data to import but that is obviously dependent on which theme you choose so the default one has got everything on there so if uh, we've, we've got all that in there so if I go to the front end of the site now and then we refresh the home page you'll see here now that we've got the menu items from the default uh, concilium theme now we just need to set the home page of the theme because here we've just got the blog so if we go back into the back end of the site here and then we go on the left hand side here and we go to to, to settings and reading and then here we need to just say front page display is going to be a static page and then we're going to select 
the home page so you'll see all here the content in here so I'm just going to select home there and then we'll just save those changes and then the same again if we go to the front end of the theme and just refresh that page you'll see here now we've got the the slideshow from the demo and all the content which is there set up ready for you guys there's some input in that you guys need to put in here to to continue with the data so the values to put in for the counters the images um, as we can't supply images with the default theme because uh, of licensing restrictions but the actual structure of the pages is all set up there ready for you guys to go in and start editing so if I mean if, if as an example here if I just go into let's say the about us page uh, all I need to do there is is click here open link in a new tab and then in here now we can start editing that page within here so if we wanted to start adding uh, some more text on there we simply go down here we've got visual composer and then we just click into the actual widget into the VC element which is the drop caps one for this here and then we could just change that text there so I'm just gonna put my name there so you can see that change and then if we update that and then refresh that page you'll see that change take effect now so there you go you see just how quickly you're up and running now with the theme so that, that's fine is that now so the next video tutorial I'll be running through some of the different post types some of the visual composer elements so again if you look if you look through these video tutorials and we'll be adding more and more as the as the theme grows and, and more and more people are purchasing the theme so uh, if you have any questions please don't hesitate to contact us over at support at cmssuperheroes.com thank you very much